Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to give a brief overview of the basic concepts and toolbars and buttons of ProPresenter. So, starting from the top, we have these kill switches. And uh, these are five different kill switches, so as you can imagine, just for audio, just for props, which I don't ever use, just for backgrounds, which is different for uh, just for slides, and slides would be any kind of text, scripture verses, um, lyrics, and so forth. Backgrounds are just that, the backgrounds. And this is a kill switch for all. Whenever we uh, click this one, if we've got slides and backgrounds, audio, anything else, it's just going to kill it all. So as we can see, that killed this one. So continuing down the left, uh, logo is if we created a logo, this would be a, a quick uh, button to shine our logo. Uh, this is to create a new presentation, to create a template that would impact all slides. This would be an editor to change uh, text on our slides of our um, or create new slides. Uh, video images would open and close the video image bin or the library of images that we have including backgrounds and so forth. So there's a few of our backgrounds. We just tap into my mouse. Okay. Uh, so there's a, a few of our backgrounds. And again, we kill the background. And that goes away. So if we click on video images again, our library disappears and, and it opens up our our uh, viewing area here. Audio I've never used. That's if we want to control audio. Uh, oh, actually, uh, audio bin would be a library of audio, um, I guess, like uh, sound effects and so forth, background sound effects. Messages is if we want to give a notification of a child or child's number that would be in children's ministry, etc. Uh, props, I think these are just like graphical effects. Um, <clears throat> clocks, I believe that these would be uh, uh, countdowns or timers uh, during a break and so forth. Uh, this is new, a new feature to this version of ProPresenter. More on that uh, in another tutorial. Uh, store, I've never used, but we can purchase little clips from the ProPresenter store. Song Select is to download um, Lyrics from worship songs uh, based on the license and subscription that we have with CCLI. It's uh, very streamlined and very helpful, and that'll be another tutorial. Uh, Bible as well. We can click on here and see uh, English Standard Version or Spanish Version and uh, create uh, quick presentations uh, from the Bible. Uh, DVD, if we want to play DVD through ProPresenter, we can use that as well as a live video camera and uh, web interface. We can uh, browse the web and flash it on our screen uh, through ProPresenter. This output, um, as you can imagine, is the on-off switch to what the audience sees. Right now, since I only have one monitor, which is my own, if I click it, it will turn my monitor into what the audience would see. If we had a second monitor, ProPresenter would detect it and send the signal to that second monitor and continuing my control here on this monitor. So I'm just going to click it, so uh, click on one of these guys and then do output and you'll see that it'll take up my whole screen and it'll get kind of strange. So uh, I just killed it, put it back off. And of course this is the volume if we want to control volume or audio through ProPresenter. Um, Moving uh, down the left, now again we see what the audience will see if our output was on in this screen and uh, you know, of course play and stop, fast forward, etc. if we were doing video clips. <clears throat> in this screen we see the library of, our, of all of our songs. So if we click one, this song appears on the right and we can uh, take a closer look at the song. Uh, again, in this case, it's the announcements slides. Uh, I'm actually going to go here and toggle this a little bit larger so we can see and read what the slides actually say. So this is a toggle switch down here on the left. And uh, right next to it is a different view of the slides. Here we get more detail 
about the slides. So jumping back over here on the left and working down, you'll see a plus uh, uh, box or button. <clears throat> when we check that, we can actually create a new uh, song and we're going to add an item into our library if we click this plus sign here. Then coming down here, which we can modify the size of our windows here, whenever we see these um, uh, three lines together. Uh, down here we have our playlist and what I usually do is create a playlist uh, with today's date. I created one here with today's date and I'm just going to create an another one 12-18-2012-2 let's oops come up 12-18-2012-2 okay and that's empty and I'm just going to drag in uh, the songs that I want to sing today and you can see it's in this other view mode over here which we hard we, we never leave it in this mode so I'm going to click this button to see my slides so I just dragged in here the songs I click on it and uh, you can see on the left here it's already set up so <clears throat> starting from the top uh, there's I Love the Cross, keep scrolling down, In Christ Alone, which is this one. And you can see it goes gray, the song that is activated. His, His Forever, we can just keep going down, it goes gray. Announcements, it goes gray. And then I Love the Cross again. <clears throat> so it pr puts each slide there in its correct order. Um, so we did these and... Uh, <clears throat> Again, this plus sign will create a new playlist. This plus sign will create a folder that I can nest playlists in. So if I wanted to put all the month of January in one folder, I can do that. Going over here, this is a toggle screen to increase or decrease the size of the font of my library and playlist. And again, here we can drag this back and forth, or we can hide it all together. Okay, this little scroll bar will let us go up and down. This little button lets us drag you know, for m more or less viewing area. Okay. And uh, the search window here is very helpful. It's if I just type in God, it'll show me the songs that contain the word God in it, the titles that contain the word God. If I click on content, it'll show more songs that contain the word God, not necessarily in the title. Okay. Um, then moving over to the right, this is, as you can see, our viewing area. Uh, this is where we're going <clears> to <throat> edit slides, view slides, select slides to go to, to be seen by the audience. Um, and the way I would edit is uh, just click on edit of this particular song. <clears throat> if I wanted to edit this song, I would click on it. And there's my song ready to be edited. I'm gonna I'm gonna go through editing songs and importing and creating songs in different tutorials. But for now, I just wanted you you to see these buttons down here. I'm gonna say done, finished editing. It takes us back in here. So it's just edit changes the view to edit mode. And we've got more options over here. Done takes us back to viewing mode. <clears throat> if I want to just create a quick slide. Um, uh, to the end of the current song that's selected, which in this case is In Christ Alone because it's the gray area. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to do that. And where did it pop my blank slides? Okay. Oh, uh, let's see. In Christ Alone. In Christ Alone has been modified, and I can tell by this gold. Uh, icon. It's also been modified in the library. So I'm going to go to In Christ Alone, which is here. And okay, so there are my two black screens that I just created. And I'm going to create one more so we can see. Okay, it was created. There it is. Create one more, and there it is. So it's been modified because it's gold. I'm, gonna just, I'm just going to go ahead and remove these blank. Uh, slides come on I'm gonna 
not sure why it's not deleting it. Oh, but so we'll go into edit mode. I guess it'll just add it, but it won't delete it. So if I go here and delete, it did delete it. Delete, delete, and delete. And I'm done. Now we modified it. We didn't really because we added and then deleted it, but it doesn't, it's not that smart. So just to make sure that we don't lose any work in case ProPresenter crashes, I'm gonna go ahead and hit Apple S to save, and they are now all blue like the rest of them. So moving, continuing down this area, um, you know, we did edit and done, and this is a transition box. So this uh, uh, controls the amount of seconds that it's gonna transition from one slide to the next, in this case, 0.5 seconds. Um, and let's see, like for, well, it's showing slides, I'm gonna kill that. But if I go, for example, to my, uh, to my announcements, these are all set for 10 seconds. I'm gonna show them transition to two seconds. See, that's transitioning now at 0.3 seconds each slide. You can see it up on the top here. And if I do this, that'll be 1.1 seconds. Okay, so this is a transition speed. This basically means that it can't find the image. So this lady's breakfast JPEG is no longer where it used to be. That's fine. Uh, I'm just going to right click and delete. Yes, I'm sure I want to delete. And I'm going to do that again. Delete, delete. Okay. Uh, we already went through this part. Uh, didn't go through this. Let's see what this does. I'm not really sure. I think, oh, this is just a stretch. Hmm. doesn't seem like this one does anything. So that's a quick overview. Whoops, let me, I see my gold icon. So I'm gonna do uh, Apple S, save everything. And that does it for this introductory uh, tutorial for ProPresenter.